In this video we'll show you how to check and adjust the valve clearances on the Avali GP0. So here's the tools that I'll use for this job. First of all there's this paintbrush, it's a 4 inch kind of floppy paintbrush, I'll show you what I use that for in a minute. There's a 5 8 spark plug socket, an 8 mil socket, an 8 mil wrench, a 9 mil wrench, my favourite little socket handle and a little socket extension there. Okay so I've got my 4 inch brush here but any nice sort of soft brush will do this. Just want you to get in here a bit, give it a good clean just before you start taking things off because you don't want stuff going down your spark plug hole or underneath your valve inspection covers. First thing I'm going to do is just get the spark plug out so that we can turn the engine over and you just kind of nip it off like that. Okay, now just get your uh, 5 eighths on the spark plug, undo it and we'll just get that out. So there's the spark plug out. Now, out of the box, your Avali will come with this torch, A7TC. These are kind of hard to get a hold of. Whereas we replace them with an NGK CR7 HSA. These should be replaced every 10 hours as per the manual. With your 8mm socket is just to pop these bolts out of here and get the left hand engine side cover off. There's three bolts. And we'll just lift those off. So there's the side cover off. We'll just put the bolts where they came from so we don't lose them and we know where they live. So here's, here's your flywheel. The reason this is important is it's got the timing mark on it. You can see this red line here. There's actually the timing marks are scored in the wheel, but I use a red sharpie to make them show up better. And here's the notch in the casing that you line the timing line up with to make sure the motor is a top dead center. So there's two uh, valve covers. This is the, the lower one. That'll be for the exhaust valve. Now you notice I put a rag here over the tire. What can happen sometimes is a little bit of oil can accumulate in this cover and when you pop it off, it will come out and dribble all over the place. So have a little uh, handy sort of um, yogurt carton or something underneath this to catch the oil. There we go. Now, there's a little seal in here that if you over, over tighten these bolts, it's a bit chewed up. As you can see on this bike, this one is actually been over tightened a little bit and it's a little bit chewed up. But uh, just make sure it's in good condition or use some, some instant gasket just to make sure it doesn't leak. So if you look in here, you can see this is the rocker arm. Here's your tappet adjuster right here. Um, call it there, valve springs underneath. So this is for the exhaust valve. We'll just take the uh, inlet valve cover off now. Okay, so for the inlet tappet cover, as you can see, it's a little tight in here. Plus the bolt, the clearance around the bolts is really tight. So get your eight mil wrench on there. Make sure it's well supported and very carefully slack it off. Make sure it doesn't slip. It's just a little uh, tight and the housing tends to lift the wrench a little bit. And here's the bolt at the, uh, at the back of this uh, cover. Again, be careful, it's a little tight in there. Make sure you don't round the head of the bolt off. So carefully unscrew the bolts, making sure you don't drop them. Lift it away, and then you can get this cover out through the back like that. It looks like this one's been a little over tightened as well. Um, although actually that might just be some, yeah, actually that looks to me like it might actually be some black instant gasket on there in the first place. So anyway, we'll clean that one up and we'll have a look at it and uh, see what we think. So as you rotate the flywheel, you'll be able to observe the valves going up and down and that will kind of tell you whereabouts in the stroke you are so that you can make sure you've got so there's the inlet valve opening come around and then we should be there we are we are at top dead center so at this top dead center you'll be able to move both of these rocker arms you'll be able to feel them move and you can tell that you're at top dead center by this line so that means you're in the right phase of the motor to actually check the valve clearances it uh, should be between 0.08 mil and 0.1 mil. I keep the uh, feeler um, 
gauge blades out like this because it's so tight in these little bikes that you can't get the whole thing in there. So I take them off, keep them separate. I keep the 0 0.08 and the 0 0.1. Okay, so it's easier with the uh, with the inlet one to come in from the back because of the angle of it, and you just kind of slide it in underneath like that, and you can feel that this one, um, well, it just slides in and out nicely at 0 0.1. So that one's okay. Okay, so I put the um, 0 0.08 under this one, and it went in really easy. So this is the the 0 0.1 mil in in the gap there, and. You know, um, still feels to me like there's some clearance there. So we're gonna have to adjust this one. It's, it's, uh, it's a rattling good fit. Okay, so to adjust the clearance, we have to undo the lock nut here, just with your nine mil wrench. I hold the top of the adjuster here in my fingers and you, you can get away with that. It uh, normally doesn't drag too much. Then I'm going to get the 0 0.08 feeler gauge, run it in, in the gap, and then I'm going to turn this down my fingers until I can just drag the feeler gauge through the gap like that. And then while I'm holding that, I'm going to put the 9mm on and then just nip that back up. That's the, uh, the lock nut there. And then we'll just double check the gap. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. So um, actually I should have mentioned this uh, before we, we took the uh, bolts out of here but normally I'll put a rag or something down here to stop things falling down the, the plug hole although the way this motor is it's actually not too vulnerable but anyway here's a new CR7 HSA NGK spark plug going back in there just nip it up kind of hand tight and then corner the box you go hand tight plus quarter turn and that's all it takes. So just uh, when you put the valve covers back in, you're going to have to lift the bolts off like this and then slide it in carefully into place. Okay, and then get the bolts in there. The, um, the exhaust one is a lot easier to do, but this one is a bit tricky. Get your bolts in there, get it lined up. And then again, with these little 8 mil head bolts, they don't need to be super tight. Probably, uh, I usually put, nip them up around about six, six to eight foot pounds, no more than that. So really it's just kind of like nip them down and then you just cinch them up a little bit. So that's how you can uh, check and adjust the valve clearances on your Revali GP0. Thanks for watching and if you need any parts for your Revali, as we're in Canada, we get them from Eurorace.ca.